Hey guys, what's going on? This is part two of uh, my seven segment display video and what I'm going to do here for you is build a, one of the adders. I have four of them, but I'm only going to show you one of them, just a real fast version of how to make it. Uh, if you guys need me to, I can make a video on how to build all four. I mean, they're all the same, but I can do it a little slower for you. But for now, I'm just going to give you this quick example and basically build one. It takes a little over a minute and so after that I'm gonna give you an example on how to hook up or uh, not hook up but uh, make the decoders and then I'll show you how to hook up the decoders and uh, make the display structure you know how it's the structure of its made and then how to power it and then after that I'll basically gonna try to make a CPU from scratch and th this one here this is just a small example just four bit adder hooked up to a display and the reason why I did that was because I didn't want to make a huge CPU and show you a million lines of redstone and try to you know it's basically just too confusing so I wanted to do it this way and uh, show you with a little version of it and then I'm gonna basically you know get into how to build it from scratch you know make a new control panel hook up memory uh, I got some new really cool ideas actually that I haven't even hooked up yet to mine. I've tested them, know they work, but I just haven't uh, implemented them into my uh, CPU yet. Uh, I can do square roots, which is really cool. Um, I can add two memory banks together. So if like one memory bank had eight in it and another one had seven, it would uh, add them together and make 15. That's really cool. It was really hard actually to make that one, but. Uh, and then I got a, a program timer and it's basically a 60 second program timer or it could be as many it goes in increments of um, I think like 10 so I made it 60 seconds but I can make it anything I wanted to but it can uh, it'll do things automatically so I can make it like do an addition problem automatically or turn on a program automatically and I've been working with uh, some displays and some bigger displays. And I'm gonna. One of the new things I'm gonna be making is like uh, a really big 32 by 32 display that uh, basically is going to have an image loaded into it, and then it's gonna just be way bigger than these small seven segment displays. So that's that's coming up. But back to uh, the CPU. I'm gonna finish hooking up the outputs to the dis or to the uh, decoders. And when you do this, you don't want to forget to put the uh, the redstone repeaters in. And when you put them in, you want to make sure you put them in the direction that's face like the facing the way you want the power to to go. So if you want it to go forward, you want to look at it and put it you know right in front of you. And if you want it to go the other way, whatever way you want it to go, you got to face in that direction. So you can, you don't want to forget that because it'll get confusing. But so now I'm gonna hook up uh, make these decoders for you. I'm going to lay it out block for block and basically what you see is I'm going to put a block in front of every one of the lines of redstone each one of the outputs and basically put a torch on the side of it and then after that I'm going to put a block on top of the torches and this one here that I'm hooking up is the zero so um, there's going to be basically be no all the torches that are going to be on the second line which represent the actual number are going to be on an angle and as you see when they go on they shut right off and um, each one that you put on represents a number so the first one's zero the second one's one the second or the third one's three or two I'm sorry and then you know so on and so forth but with uh, with all the torches on an angle there they're basically is no number it's a zero so the display will know to turn on the zero and the next one I'd have all zeros and then the last torch would be up and down you know or you know vertically instead of you know on the angle there and that would represent one since in binary the answer would be zero zero one or zero 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 one however many inputs you have but you know each decoder represents a number and how the decoder knows to turn on basically is how you what like what torches you put on underneath in the vertical position and 
each one's different so the binary answer that comes in you want to match to the vertical torches that you put on the decoders and then after that you know each in between each of the uh, decoders you want to put redstone repeaters and you want to make sure they're going in the right direction you gotta like face you know right up against the 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 one that you just made and then jump and put it down because if you put it in any way but that way it won't work so you know basically this is the second one I'm putting on now and um, you do the same thing but as you can see the the torch is up and down instead of on an angle so that's zero 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 one and you know in binary that's the answer one again I'm sorry to keep repeating myself but I just want to make sure you guys understand how this works the the power comes in and it needs to find which one to turn on and that's how it knows to turn on and then after it turns on you'll take the power out of it and then into kind of like another decoder but it's actually a, like a line of code basically and something real similar to this but I'll show you in a little while here but it's something it'll probably be either on the next part part three or part four but um, yeah it's real similar to this but the torch is going a little bit different of a spot and it'll what it does is it'll take uh, and make the display shut off so basically when you have a display you have it always on and then each number that comes in each answer for whatever problem you're doing will shut certain segments of the display down and it's come something real similar to what you're seeing here the lines of code it, it kinda is like a decoder too but a little bit different but I'll, I'm gonna show you that it's really really easy it's uh, it's it's not hard at all but you know you just wanna basically keep repeating this as many inputs as you you know or, or not inputs but as many numbers as you have this is a four bit machine since I have four adders and no matter if it was adding subtracting whatever multiplying dividing anything um, so this can add up to I believe 15 which would be 8 4 yeah 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 so yeah so I'm gonna make 15 of these decoders so every number that you can add up to you're gonna have to make another decoder my next machine that I'm gonna build I'm actually gonna build either an 8-bit or a 16-bit um, like I was saying I got some new ideas I'm gonna do uh, square roots and stuff so I'm probably gonna probably gonna go with 16 bits so I'm gonna need an awful lot of decoders so I mean I'm talking probably at least 64 decoders so um, you know it's gonna be huge um, the one that I built the 4 bit one was really really big but I mean and you know it was kinda slow it took about five seconds for the answer to go through but you know the 16 bit I'm gonna I'm trying I've been working on better ways to make them a little bit smaller and uh, a little bit more compact to make everything run a little bit easier but that'll be in future videos and uh, so basically here on in the video here I'm I'm uh, working on the third one here and like like you can see same thing you just basically want to put the blocks down put the torches on an angle put blocks on top of the torches put the torches on an angle again and then whatever your answer is that's where you want to put the vertical torches and then put the blocks on top of that and then make sure you put redstone on top of it and as you can see when you put the redstone on top of this before your an or before the adders are actually connected and there's an answer coming through they'll always turn on since you have a torch under it and zero don't actually turn on but all the other ones will turn on and it might confuse you but once you have it all hooked up to the display they'll always you know they'll all be off and uh, the only one that turns on is when the answer comes on so uh, yeah see I didn't want you to get confused whenever you put the redstone on top and they turn on but the reason why they're turning on is because the power gets inverted as the you know once everything's hooked up and then when the answer comes through and turns on the right one so but yeah and like I said you just want to keep repeating this uh, this one I'm gonna do 15 times 
and for every answer you just want to keep up doing exactly what you're doing put the vertical torches whatever the binary answer is and if you need a binary chart uh, if you look on my website right on you know uh, right on my channel I have a, a link to my website and I have a binary chart in there and it goes up to I believe 255 so if you're not familiar with binary uh, it's really important that you do get familiar with binary if you're trying to build one of these CPUs or an ALU um, they're very very important it's the the root of everything basically and without it uh, without the knowledge of understanding what binary is and how it works you're pretty much going to be lost so you want to yeah, maybe go to Wikipedia or something and figure out you know see what they say and see what what you could do about figuring out what binary is but most people I'm sure have a great uh, you know a basic understanding of what it is but uh, yeah it's real important so on the uh, next couple videos that I make um, I'm going to basically part three is gonna be the lines of code and how to make each segment turn off and then part four I'm going to build the structure and possibly get it powered up and then um, maybe I'm not sure there might be a part five I'm, um, it looks like I might be able to get it all on part four and then you know give you a quick example again and go on from there and then the next step I'm gonna show you how to build a control panel and then some memory and registers and how to make the registers coincide one with one another and all kinds of different things um, I got a lot of different functions on mine and things you know that you need to know to know how to do this I'm going to show you a few different ways to make memory I have like three or four different type of D flip flops that I use uh, generally I've been using the one the one wide one lately because it saves space but there is different kinds you know you can use or you can even figure out your own and as you get to do this you'll kinda see that you, you get a little bit once you start to learn the functions and how how circuitry works you'll kinda kinda figure it out you know once like like the adders you kinda if you look at the adders they look like well how does that actually work well the more I build them the more I realize it, it kinda looks like an AND gate and an XOR gate on like kind of like on top of each other but you know I could be wrong there I'm not 100% sure but basically my point was is the the more you work with the stuff the better you get and the more you can make your own things uh, I've come up with my own pro my own program uh, counter uh, my own D flip-flop and I'm gonna make videos on all that so uh, if you guys you know want to see any of these videos that I'm talking about I'm trying to put them out as fast as I can but feel free to ask uh, I will definitely get them out as soon as possible but that's the end of the video guys if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask I will definitely get back to you or if you want to see a video on something uh, just ask me I'll definitely make it as soon as possible and please uh, just do me a favor and like the videos or you know give me um, I don't know rating uh, subscribe to the channel whatever you can do to help uh, put a ton of time into this and I really want to try to get it so I can teach you guys how to do this so in the best way that I can but you know if, if you uh, need anything let me know guys and uh, that's the end of part two I'll see you for part three